Hello and welcome once again to Captain Goodspeed Maths. I'm Joe if you're new around here and today we are starting the numerical methods part of the OCR FSMQ course. So if you've been watching all of the lessons so far, you'll know that there are about five or six lessons left to get up. I'm going to upload multiple a day um, until the exam so we get them all up and if possible I will also do the specimen paper but I'm not making any promises about that because time is of the essence and I think uh, it, it's more useful to get all of the, the, the content in there and uh, you, you guys can look for examples online and stuff. There has been a couple of questions about the Google Drive uh, so basically uh, each individual lesson is pasted in the description of uh, the 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 lesson that it's that it's on on the video that it's on. So um, some people have said, "Oh, not all the lessons are on there." That's how it's meant to be. I will be putting them all into a folder this week, so you guys can uh, have them all um, at your disposal, and I'll go back and put them all in the descriptions as well. So uh, hopefully that's all good. Uh, but today, numerical methods, and we're going to start with the first one, which is interval bisection. So the learning objective today is to understand how to show there is a presence of a root between two values using the method of interval bisection. So for years, we've been solving equations and expressions either in our heads or using suitable methods uh, like the quadratic equation. But we've only been able to do this because the equations have been tailor-made to have nice answers. The reality is, though, most equations don't have nice answers and can't be solved with what we call pen and paper methods. So the best we can do is have a bit of a guess at the answer, usually using calculators or computers. This is similar to the concepts that we learned at GCSE uh, when we carried out trial and improvement. The actual name of it is numerical methods. So that is uh, the, the sort of topic that we are covering in FSM, FSMQ at the moment. And uh, this individual topic actually used to be on the Edexcel uh, FP1 paper, so further maths uh, A level. So this, this is good stuff. And uh, I'm not sure if it still is on that, but it certainly used to be, and uh, I had some videos on this uh, previously. So uh, let's do an example. Easiest way to learn this these sort of methods, I think. Uh, so show that one root of the equation x cubed minus 7x plus 1, uh, sorry, plus 2 equals 0 lies in the interval 2, 3. So... What do we know about a root? Well, a, a root is is where x is equal to zero, i.e., where it crosses the x-axis. So, uh, you know, when you factorise a quadratic and, and you say maybe x plus two, x plus one, you say, oh well, x minus one and uh, x equals minus one, and x equals minus two are the are the roots that that's what make that equation zero. So we want and uh, we want x to to be zero basically. So uh, where it crosses uh, the x-axis. So, well, where, where y is equal to zero, really, what I should say is we want this equation to be equal to zero. That is, we want the value of x where that whole equation is equal to zero. So, uh, we know that as it heads towards the x-axis, it's either positive or negative. Once it crosses the x-axis, it will be the op opposite. So, uh, therefore, we are looking for a change of sign when we put the two numbers through the equation, as we'll know, the point is equal to zero, uh, where, where y is equal to zero, will be uh, within uh, that interval. So if we put two through, so it's, it's given us the interval, so we're putting two through, so we get two cubed minus seven uh, times two plus two, which is eight minus 14 plus two, that's minus four, so that's negative. Put a 3 through, you get 3 cubed minus 7 times 3 plus 2. So you get uh, 27 minus uh, 21 plus 2, which equals 8. And that is positive, so we've had a change of sign. So that means that the the the, the x value that you put in um, to get y equals 0 is between 2 and 3. So the change of sign implies that there's a root in the interval 2, 3. And you might be asked to do that on the day, show that one root of the equation that lies in that interval. And that is exactly what you do. You put the lower uh, limit of the interval in, you put the upper limit in, you look for a change of sign. If there's a change of sign, it implies there is a root in that interval. 
So now that uh, now what interv interval bisection uh, allows us to do is make this interval smaller and smaller. So we had quite a big interval there between two and three. All you can tell somebody is that you know that the um, the root is between two and three, but you know who knows what it is in between that. So what we're going to do is uh, starting with the interval 2, 3, we're going to use interval bisection twice to find an interval of width 0 0.25 which contains this root. So you're thinking, well, how am I going to do that? So, as bisection suggests, we keep halving the interval until we get an interval width of 0 0.25. So first, we split that interval in half, so we've got a, an interval width of 1 at the moment, 2 and 3, so we're going to split that interval in half and we're going to have it between 2 2 and 2.5. So um, there you go, I'm going to try uh, 2.25. Uh, f of 2.5 is uh, 0.125, which is positive. Remember, f of 2 is minus 4, which is negative. So there is a change of sign between that interval, which is a coincidence. It might not always happen. You might have to try 2.5 and 3 in the future. It just happens to be with this function, I got it first time. So we change uh, the, the change of sign implies that the root is between at the interval 2 and 2.5. So um, remember, that's a width of 0 0.5. They asked us for a width of 0 0.25, as we can see up here. So we half the interval again. It's currently 0 0.5. We want it to be 0 0.25, so we half that interval. So the obvious thing to do is try... You know, if you look at the, the distance from 0, so that's minus 4 from 0, and that's only 0 0.25 from 0. So I think that the interval is going to be between 2.25 and 2.5. So that's what I do. I try that interval. You've got to use those type of tricks in the exam just to save yourself a bit of time. Try both of them if you're not convinced. Only one of them will work. So you'll get there in the end. But if you just think about it for a second, you can reduce your, the time that you use in the exam. So putting 2.25 through the equation, I get minus 2.36. So uh, that is negative. F of 2.5 is positive. There is a change of sign, which implies there's a root between 2.25 and 2.5. So finally, what I'd write there is, uh, well, I've wrote alpha, but it probably should be x because uh, this equation is in terms of x. So I'm just going to change that to an x there. Um, so that, that all you know about x is that it's in between the interval 2.25 and 2.5. And, it, it, you know, that it could say... We want a width of uh, 0.125. It, it, you know, you get the idea. You have to keep halving it until uh, you get what the examiner wants. But that is interval bisection. Uh, it's a whistle stop to it. I, I get it, but you know, that's all you do. There's not much more to it. You know, you need to know change of sign and you need to know interval bisection. Next time out, we will be doing something known as the decimal search, which is something I've never done before. So it'll be uh, something quite fun to go through it with you guys. So if you found that helpful, make sure you leave a like down below. If not, then let me know what I can do to explain things a little bit better in the future. As always, this lesson is uh, down below in the description of the uh, of this video on the google drive all the other ones you go on their video and the link is in that description as well there will be a folder uploaded by the end of the week subscribe for more maths and fsmq content and best of luck with your exam